If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players at East Position, guys. This is a fan favorite video on the channel been doing this for years now people love it and especially with madden you know early access flights to new zealand today as well as it coming out actually on ea play for most people in the us as well in europe and everything else on xbox i know a lot of people are gonna be playing today probably pack popping some packs and wondering who should i buy with all these coins who should i keep so this video is going to go over this is the way it works very simple i'm gonna go to the auction block i go to each position one by one by one and i give you my 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 best player at each position wide receiver i may toss you too because it's a dead position same corners but i'm giving you my best play like who you get you got coins, you get this guy, this guy, this guy. This is not the video where I go based on price. This is the video where I go based on best player. When I do overpower players, same way. When I do top 10 players to get, that might be more based on budget and stuff, which I'll go over there later. But before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, smash the like button. Guys, the noti bell is important, so you always get updated on my brand new videos, because I sometimes I post time-sensitive stuff. You don't want to be missing that. As well as, guys, if you want coins, head over to Mutt Reserve. They should be going live shortly. As well as, if you guys want to be shout out the Poodle Squad, like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. Shout out to Griffin Ponce today for the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. Could be a longer video, so let's start this now. One rule is we skip defensive line, kicker, and punter. Just because, guys, it takes a while to go through offensive line. And honestly, at the end of the day, there's no such thing as meta offensive line. Like, it's... There's good run blockers. There's good pass blockers. Do you pass a lot? Go pass blocker. You run a lot, you go run. You're a very well-balanced beast. Get a guy who could do both and get the top tier line like Larry Allen or stuff when they come out. That's my best advice I can give you guys in terms of that. Now, in terms of the best quarterbacks, this is probably going to be one of the most trickiest questions to answer. So to show you guys what the top tier quarterbacks look like, you're pretty much just dealing with Mahomes here. But the problem with Mahomes, okay, so Mahomes is free. So I'm going to recommend for majority of you guys, you can rock with the free power at Mahomes for now. Problem is he has no top tier abilities, which is why people are kind of leading away from him. Um, if you got Rick Ramirez, guys, you can rock with Trevor Lawrence. He's going to be pretty good, especially once he gets another upgrade because he gets uh, he gets some abilities or Aaron Rodgers. So again, guys, this is a triple three-way question. If you're concerned about price and you just want a good player with stats and a big ability guy, you don't know so much about that, go Mahomes. If you know about abilities and stuff, you probably want to lean towards an Aaron Rodgers or Trevor Lawrence. My best answer I can give you guys there. A very tricky question to answer right now. Going over to halfback, I don't think it's actually any of these guys. I think you want to go lo and behold for Saquads. Saquads is going to be the best running back in Madden, in my opinion. First off, He's actually kind of expensive for his overall because of people know how good he is. Saquon had an 84 overall, powered up and chemed up, guys. You're going to be able to get him up to an 87 speed. With 87 speed, with great agility, great excel, great change of direction, and a borderline power back at 233 pounds in next-gen Madden, Saquon's already probably the best back in the game, in my opinion. He's almost as heavy as, as uh, Derrick Henry, but he also has the same exact speed, powered up and chemed up, for less of the cost and better change of direction and agility. And don't forget, he's getting an 89 Superstar MVP card probably launch night which could be tomorrow or tonight who knows so with that being said saquon's the best running back in the game um and the best one in the nfl as well so i always get fullback as well did i mention that so we're going over to wide receiver same thing with fullbacks guys if you like to use them as a receiving fullback get a fast one if you like to use them as a blocker still get a fast one just look at the stats wide receivers so in terms of wide receivers guys i think it's pretty simple you're not going to see them on the block right now because you know they're still having some issues with that um, Jamar Chase is the best wide receiver in Madden right now. Um, maybe route running catching isn't exactly the greatest, but he has 91 speed. It's 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 new it's new game. The cornerbacks and secondary don't cover as well. You don't need crazy route running just yet. So Jamar Chase is the best uh, best one. Second best one in my opinion is gonna be Tyree Kill. And it's not so much because he's just Tyree Kill. It's because of the fact that other wide receivers, even if they have similar speed or whatever, Tyree Kill is gonna get upgrades throughout the year. Also, even if they have the speed, not like even Jamar Chase, not many guys are gonna have 90 change of direction. Um, I believe he has 99 agility. He's going to have 90 agility too. He's going to have a 90 juke. He just has so much stuff. Going to be the ultimate RPO. Ultimate RPO. Um, cat drag. Drag and juke. Like ultimate guy for just like making big plays happen. So I think Tyreek and Jamar are the two guys you probably want at wide receiver right now. Tight end. Hands down. Kyle Pitts. Again, not going to be on the block right now. Kyle Pitts is the best one. If you can't get Kyle Pitts because you're in your premieres, remember at level 10, you do get a free rookie premiere. Once again, if, you, if, you, if you're not up there yet. Uh, I'd probably just wait for your free Kittle at that point. I mean, I'm, I think it's Pitts or Kittle. I really don't think there's many other tight ends that really compete. Maybe a Waller, but I wouldn't really go there. So we're skipping linemen now. Let's get to ends. So in terms of ends, guys, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious. Um, in terms of ends, so at the 88 to 89 overall spot, there's really none, which leaves you with the J.J. Watt. I really don't think J.J. Watt's that good, guys. I recommend, I recommend doing this. Go ahead and either A, 
go get the, uh, the Jack Youngblood is kind of who I'm, I said who I'm going with. Go get Jack Youngblood and just slot him in an end. Either side, you can always use uh, chemistry changes and stuff. So I would get Jack Youngblood, guys. And then, of course, you can always get the Quiddy Pay team builder as well. Um, I believe it's a right end, though, but just getting that out there. Next, guys, for right end. The Quiddy Pay is who I would recommend. Not as the best one, guys, just as an option for the left end if you don't want to get the Jack Young Blood. 87 speed, 88 Excel, going to be great off the edge. You can always pop him into a zone. That's going to be my substitute for a uh, left end if you guys don't want to go ahead and use the Young Blood or the JJ Watt. I don't think JJ Watt's that great. And the right end, of course, going to be Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald hands down is the best one. You really can't go wrong with an Aaron Donald card. You guys know this. You guys know this deal. Powder him chemed up with a strategy card. We'll have 90 block shed, 90 power move, and 90 strength. 280 pounds and a gamer weight and strength matter. I don't think you can really go wrong with Aaron Donald here at this point. Uh, and he's going to be a year-long card as well. Defensive tackle. Um, first off, I'd recommend you wait for the Linval Joseph. You're going to get him for free at reaching a certain level. I forget the exact level. So make sure you guys go ahead and get the Limbo Joseph. And if you had to actually buy one, guys. I mean, defensive tackles aren't exactly loved too much. I mean, I really like Chris Jones personally. But if you guys are big on speed, the problem with these guys is Chris Jones has a 64 speed. But he's going to be 310 with 89 power, which is important. So he's going to be a pass rusher at 310. And then DeForest Buckner is going to be a... Let's see what his weight was. His weight was 300 with an 85 finesse move. So if you're more finesse guy, they're going to be similar speed, similar weight, similar everything. I still prefer Chris Jones because he will get close to that 90 power move threshold. While the Force Buckner will get under the above. Not the best run stuffers, which kind of pisses me off a little bit, but most people don't even use uh, defensive tackles for the most part. Left outside linebacker is pretty simple. Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack's an absolute stud. He plays amazing online. Khalil Mack, powered up and chemed up, guys, will get close to the running and pass rushing threshold. So make sure you guys put some strategy cards in him. He'll be a long term card for the year. He's going to be super solid with good speed. 269. Pretty good for a pass rushing outside linebacker. You know, being a guy that's not like, he's not going to straight defensive lineman, you know, big guy in the dirt. Middle linebacker, there's a few good options here. So, if we go up to the top tier, which is going to be 88. Remember, there's not, not every position is going to have 88s here. So, another example, this is going to be middle linebacker. So, again, you got you to gotta kind of look down here a little bit. You're not going to get top tier, like, you know, overall guys right now. Um, in terms of middle linebacker, I really don't recommend really any of these guys here. Fred Warner is just, he's too slow. Personally, guys, the best thing you could do is put safeties here. Cam Chancellor, uh, ultimate champion. You want uh, you put safeties there, but if we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're doing positions, so we're gonna stick to the position stuff here. But again, I put a safety there. Um, there's probably gonna be some good ones down here. Again, there's they're just horrible. I mean, if you keep going down in overall, you can keep checking them out. But I really am not a fan of most of them. Spillane right here is a great example of a budgeted one you can go. Personally, guys, I wouldn't recommend putting a lot of coins in middle linebacker right now. So we're gonna kind of go over this position, which is kind of what I had down in my notes for this. You can take Spillane, 87. It got speed 88 excel six foot one 82 hit power he's the perfect example of a good budgety linebacker to just throw in there and then of course i'd put like maybe isaiah simmons or i i would get like a base gold i, I put put budgety players at linebacker for now until we get the beast ones or put safeties there although you guys probably already know the deal with this right outside linebacker so again you can always get kind of lucky with guys like quitty pay at these spots and kind of put budgety players into those spots but again um you have Khalil already. You have Donald. There's a chance you may not even need a right outside linebacker. Remember, it depends on the defense. You're in 4 3, you're in 3 4. You can maybe just run. You could either have just all your linemen down and then always just keep subbing around uh, Khalil Mack on either side. So that's kind of what I would recommend, guys. If you guys need a, you guys don't need double pass rushers, in my opinion, right now, unless you run one of those seams. It's really up to you guys. Again, right, right outside linebacker isn't exactly in the greatest position right now. Bradley Chubb isn't horrible with the finesse move and block shed and the speed. Again, I would probably, with the way I run my defense, I would just have Khalil Mack on either side rushing, and I'd have my three down linemen, give or take, or depending on what I do. That's kind of my opinion. I wouldn't really go ahead and get a, you know, a budgety outside linebacker for all those coins. I would probably just stick ahead with Khalil around the edges. Okay, so cornerbacks. We have quite a few good ones here, so let me get into this real quick. Jalen Ramsey. He's going to be one of the top cornerbacks in the game just because of the fact of his thresholds. 86 speed isn't exactly the fastest, but he's faster than Jalen Ramsey. But powered up and chemmed up and everything with strategy cards, you could probably get him to a 90 man, close to 90 zone, 90 press, and close to 90 play rec as well at 208, which is good. Some good weight for a cornerback, 6 foot 1, 88 excel, 86 speed with some catching at 70 as well. My recommendation, again, guys, the Deion Sanders is pretty good as well. I don't know if he's going to get bodied on next gen with the way his weight is, but Jalen Ramsey is going to be good. Jair Alexander is pretty good. Uh, Deion Sanders and then of course there's a few there's a, the JC Jackson your best bet is probably using the Deion and JC to start and maybe so, maybe getting Jalen at your number one slot and that'll be your three I, I would be a little bit cheaper on cornerbacks right now I mean either way defense kind of ass and for the most part you can get two really good quality free ones right now so I will stick to that free safety free safety doesn't really matter about overall anymore guys honestly you just want to get guys who can run with speed and maybe a little bit hit power depending on how hit power works I would not recommend Justin Simmons we're going to kick, kick it on down more. You want to go with the budgety guys that have some pretty good uh, speed as well. 
like Minka Fitzpatrick, a lot of big names, but only 85 speed. He's decent at six foot one, but again, you, want, you kind of want a guy with faster speed. So I would rec uh, recommend Trevon Morig. He could play strong or free, I'm pretty sure, if you go ahead and do the team cam. So I would recommend him as one of your users. Because again, you don't really buy safeties anymore to be your free and strong. You just buy safeties, you put them at linebacker, put them at free. I'd recommend Darnell Savage. He's a really good one at six at 5'11 with 87 speed, 87 excel. Really good user with 84 pet power and zone. I'd recommend you pick up Darnell Savage and the recruit mirror Trevon Morig. That's gonna be my free and strong recommendation right there. And of course, you can always get the budgety Simmons. And you can do a few other things, but I would recommend Murig, uh, Morig and Darnell Savage. Those are my two recommendations. That's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And let me know down below if you guys have any other questions regarding any videos today. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.